for this match. There's the bell. Bruno San Martino Jr. Along with Bob Russell as tag team partners against the Minnesota Wrecking Crew. Ole and Gene Andr uh, Anderson from the uh, great Golden Gopher State of Minnesota. And it is uh, Anderson taken off his feet by Bruno San Martino Jr. At 19, Bruno San Martino Jr. Uh, was named the world's strongest teenager. And there was certainly no question about that. He uh, follows in the career of his legendary father, Bruno San Martino Sr. Now you see a fine ride by Ole Anderson. San Martino finally breaks free from it, however. But an outstanding ride by Ole Anderson. The Andersons, uh, as they both will tell you, uh, do not claim uh, perhaps uh, the most scientific uh, styles of wrestling, but may I say that, and I'm sure that Rod Piper would agree with me, they adhere to the basics, and of course, that's where it all begins, and that's where it all ends. Absol Mr. Soley, you are absolutely correct. That's why you are a great announcer. You see, there is magnificence and splendor all in one beautiful package. There is a team that what they do is they get a hold of a piece of meat like a pit bull terrier and they shake and they shake and they don't let go they got more guts than any person any team i've ever seen in my entire life and they prove it that's why they come become world champions they become when they walk into a bar people leave the bar <laughs> except for me indeed and it is uh, russell in a lot of trouble now as gene anderson keeps that right. look at them working on that arm you see relentlessly they work on that arm not giving a chance See, he's a, he wants to watch, watch. Tag, immediately tag. Why sitting there and get hurt? Boom, they got him. Beautiful. Wrestling at its best. You know what? You've got some tremendous wrestlers here. I didn't realize it. Well, we have the finest in the world. There's no question about that. And obviously, I have uh, alongside of me uh, one is certainly one of the greatest, too. All right. Good. Heavy armbar down on Russell now, keeping Russell's uh, head into the canvas. And it is Russell inching his way toward those ring ropes, finally makes it in. And so the referee, Nick Patrick, calling for the break. And it is uh, uh, Ole Anderson driving a knee in on the break. Once again, Ole Anderson bullying into his man, pushing the issue as fast and as heavy as he can, keeping Russell constantly on the defense. The arm, the arm, back. Look at the viciousness. Look at the constant attack. Never, never a retreat. Constant attack on the same arm. You notice that? I have indeed. Now Gene Anderson makes the tag with the Ole Anderson. Has him up, traps the arm. Is it the same arm? Full slam on the arm, and you can see now. Uh, Gotta be getting sore, right? The the muscles, the skin, the cartilage, everything has to be. Uh, and now look at Bruno San Martino Jr. exploding to the midsection of uh, Gene Anderson. Has him up. Whoa, he's strong. Presses him up above himself, brings him up high, full body slam, and Anderson in trouble. He is as a strong young man, isn't he? He is indeed, and he combines that with a pull arm drag and a, uh, a drop toe hold that brought Gene Anderson back to the canvas again. Anderson fires him into his brother, Ole Anderson. Ole Anderson makes the tag and steps into the ring. Well, there's no question about the uh, teamwork capability of the Anderson brothers. If they didn't have the great teamwork they have, they could not be the world champions that they are. You are absolutely right. And it is Anderson again, using that elbow very effectively. Russell makes the tag, and as Russell steps into the ring, it is uh, Ole Anderson right on top of him, drives him into the knee of Gene Anderson. Immediate attack. You notice that immediate vicious attack. What are they doing now? On the same arm, still on the same part of the body. Unbelievably great. Unbelievably great. Right down on that arm again, and it is uh, Russell. Now, the, the deltoids have to be really suffering here. Did you look at that. Did you see, you see the red on the arm? You see the relentless punishment like pit bull I love it. I love it. I love it. Whoa. Beautiful. And so, Piper becoming somewhat hyper as he watches the Anderson brothers in action here. And I might say that they are beginning to uh, slowly and systematically demolish this man, Bob Russell. Now... The only way out for him is the ropes. That's uh, the only way out for that man is the ropes. Uh, step over, and uh, it is Russell just in intense pain now. Referee Nick Patrick checking again. I wish the cameraman could get a close-up of that arm if you could see the red on that arm from constant punishment. Please get a close-up of that arm. And it is uh, 
It's beautiful to watch poetry in motion, is it not, Mr. Soli? Ha! Ah, like watching me. And up on that top rope, comes down, drives that knee into the uh, arm of uh, Bob Russell. And Russell now. Is that the it's, same arm? It is Did indeed. They... It is all but over. This, of course, a favorite tactic of the Anderson brothers. They've used it consistently over the years and very successfully, I might add. Mr. Soley, you're as good an announcer as I am a wrestler, sir. <laughs> indeed. Rod Piper, who has been uh, lending his comments uh, to the matches today, and may I say that he certainly adds uh, an interesting new dimension to professional wrestling in regards to his commentary. It'll be very interesting to see him in action in the ring one day. Right now, though, let me take a moment to talk to the World Tag Team Champions, and my congratulations, gentlemen, a very, very fine match. That's right. We're still the world champions, and our wrestling is just what we do. Wrestling. The Minnesota Wrecking Crew, and I don't care who wants to wrestle. Holy myself. You know, Gordon, everybody like to be the world champion. Everybody like to be on the top of the heap. But we are on the top of the heap. And we're there because we're better than anybody else. You get Mr. Rich and Mr. Hansen if they ever make it by some other people. You even put that big red in, the big troubleshooting referee, and that wouldn't stop us. I tell you this. The challenge is issued usually by the contenders. Well, this time you're going to listen to the champions issue a challenge. Anybody, whether it's the Omni or Columbus, Ohio, Huntington, whether it's Richmond or Norfolk or Charlotte, you get somebody good enough. Come on after well, us. Next week, 